This is the new Noble M600, a car that takes one of Britain's highest rated sports car makers into supercar territory and onto a collision course with Ferrari, Lamborghini, Aston Martin and McLaren. Packing a mid-mounted 650 horsepower twin turbocharged V8, the M600 should do 0-60 in an amazing 3 seconds dead. It has a theoretical maximum speed of 225 miles an hour, will be priced from around £200,000 and will be produced at a rate of around 50 units per year. Noble gave Autocar's Steve Sutcliffe a world exclusive opportunity to drive the M600 earlier this month. These are his impressions of one of the most exciting British sports cars in history. Okay, this is definitely a rather exciting moment because I'm in the new Noble M600 and I am the first journalist in the world to be allowed to drive this thing and I have to tell you, it is a proper, proper monster. I'm not sure I've actually driven a road car that has more acceleration than this. Let's think about some numbers. We're talking about 650 bhp from a twin turbo V8 engine. The weight of this car is 1250 kilograms. If you do a bit of maths, this thing actually has a slightly better power to weight ratio than a Bugatti Veyron. It's got serious performance, proper Bugatti rivaling performance, and this is what it sounds like. This thing is ferociously fast. What else do we like about it? The brakes. They're not carbon ceramics, they're just regular old steel brakes, but there is so much feel through the pedal I can't see why you'd want to spend any more on carbon ceramic brakes. And the whole thing again comes back to the weight. It doesn't weigh very much, so therefore it stops beautifully. Noble say that this is a pure driver's car. So you don't get a paddle shift change, you get a good old fashioned six speed manual. It's a very good old fashioned six speed manual, but it ain't a paddle shift. Same goes for the brakes. No ABS. That's quite a courageous thing to do on a car that will do 210 miles an hour. It's partly a cost issue. If they wanted to engineer ABS for this car, it would cost them over a million pounds. They could do it if they wanted to. They have the budget, but they've decided, again, that this is a purist driver's car, so it doesn't need ABS. The steering, it's power assisted, but it's got so much feel. It reminds me of an old Lotus Esprit, actually, in the, in the way that it just tells you absolutely everything that's going on at the front wheels. It's delicious steering. So is the handling. The ride is quite civilised. The ride is actually quite comfortable. But more than that, what you notice is how much grip it generates. And although it's only rear wheel drive, it has serious traction as well. They say that this car represents not one step, but at least two steps up from where the old M12 was and they're not exaggerating. It's amazing, this thing. 